imagine what it's like walking all of these dogs. So I wanted the family to show me. I used to love walking the dogs, and now I dread it because I know that Eric's dogs have to come along and it's going to turn into this whole big ordeal. How many times a week would you walk all the dogs like this? Well, we try every day. It usually turns out to about four times a week. Four times a week. Okay. Yeah. It's impossible for one person to walk all of the dogs. I train a lot of leash reactive dogs, but this was unbelievable. That, that was an immense reaction. That's standard. Oscar's very reactive when he's walking with the other dog, so I wanted to see how he reacts when he's on a walk by himself. Good boy. Very I asked the neighbor with the dog to keep walking up and down, and at the same time, I was training Oscar not to react. Uh, uh, uh. I knew with Oscar that if I used a vocal interrupter such as the ah uh, uh, it would interrupt his behavior and he would focus on me. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Good is exactly what he did. Good boy. Lovely. Could you come back again, please? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. When Victoria was training Oscar, she changed Oscar's focus to her. It was amazing. OK, I want you to take over. Okay. We're going to have the dog walk past again, and I want you to tell him to leave it. When the dog goes past and there's no reaction, good boy. You can mark that calmness, but don't give the treat until the end when the dog's gone, OK? okay? Victoria is amazing with the dogs, and uh, I was a little intimidated at the prospect of trying to emulate her. Oscar, leave it. Oscar, Oscar, no, no. Oscar, leave it. But I don't want you to just keep pulling him going, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. I want you to stop and just say, leave it. You've got to be firm, leave it. Leave it. Good. Leave it. He felt your energy going away. You relax. I don't want you mm -hmm. to. You tell him, let's go. Come on, Oscar. You, you take charge. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, good. Oscar? Oh, good. Very good. Good boy. Nice. Good boy, gentle. You know why I like that, Eric, is because what you did is that he did, he went a bit, and you got his attention back. You went, nobody, I am taking over, and you do not react. When Oscar finally responded to the training and the other dog walked by when I was walking him and he didn't react, he just focused on me, it felt great. Now we've given him another way to behave out on the street, it's up to you to reinforce it. Okay. I would like you to take him out twice a day, half an hour a time. I want you to give this dog exercise because exercise relieves stress and that's what Oscar needs. Now, Victoria wants to give Oscar a more positive way to release his pent-up energy. But I wanted to do an activity with Oscar. Because he's such a pent-up, stressed-out dog, I wanted to give him a kind of outlet for all of his energy. Mm -hmm. And there's a great sport that is, is specifically designed for terrier-type dogs and dachshunds called Earth Dog, where they're able to harness their natural instinct of going in tunnels. And this sport allows them to go through tunnels and to get a prize at the end of it. Even though Oscar's a dachshund and dachshunds are tunnel dogs, he's never been in a tunnel, so I don't know how he's gonna to respond to it. And I'm just gonna put a few treats on this plate, and I'm going to put the plate at the end of this tunnel and see if he goes through. Good boy. Doing this kind of sport with Oscar helps to refocus Oscar's mind and get him doing something that he likes doing, that gives him pleasure, rather than have him feeling all this pent-up frustration and anger and fear all the time. Come on, Oscar. Come here. Oscar, come here. Come here, boy. Let's see if I can race him. Come on. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, Oscar took to the tunnels like a duck to water. Absolutely no problem. Good boy, good dog. <laughs> Right. Now that Oscar is on the right track, Hi. Bye -bye. Victoria has left the Barry family and their nine dogs for a few days to see how they handle the training on their own. 
So far, everybody is doing their part and sticking to the schedule. Come on, Pippi. You can do it, sweetheart. Okay. On your mark, get set, go! Good, he did it. He ate my finger. He's coming through again. Come here, Oski. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, boy. You got it, you got it. Oscar's doing pretty well with the tunnel training. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Eric heads out to work with Oscar one-on-one. -on -one. Oscar, 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 watch me. Oscar, 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 watch me. Unable to get Oscar's focus, Eric tries a new technique. Watch me, Oscar. What are you doing pulling Oscar's face like that? You're better off just walking him away. No, shh, shh. Friend. Friend, friend, friend. Oscar. <gasps> Oscar just bit Eric. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Eric, I feel like you're not getting this, and as a result, you just got bit. We have a lot more work to do. Oscar and Eric, um, I think there still needs to be a little bit more time taken. Oscar's still very reactive, especially when he's close to another dog. Oscar. So it's now time to go to the park and do more work. We have a lot more work to do, so let's get on it, okay? I wanted to use a dog that he'd seen before but hadn't actually greeted and get him to the point where he could be very, very close to the other dog and not react. Up. I was having to be pretty tough with him because his habit of reacting is so deeply ingrained that it's difficult for him to make that turnaround. The whole process was taking a while, but Oscar was beginning to relax and was beginning to get the training. Very good, very good. I looked back at Eric at a crucial point and I saw that he was on his cell phone, not paying the slightest bit of attention to what I was doing. Is there any point in me doing this? It's having a major impact on your family and you're not taking this seriously. I, I'm sorry, I was that just is, turning that it off. That is so rude. Take your dog, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just, I've had enough. That is so rude when we're walking. You're on your phone and I'm trying to do the work and you're not paying attention. I don't think you're taking any of this seriously. So if you're not taking this seriously, there's no point in me coming back. You take a lot as a trainer, trying to motivate people to work with their dogs, but enough is enough. I did want to apologize to her. I certainly didn't want to be disrespectful or uh, ungrateful. I'm seeing a dog begin to relax in the presence of another dog. And so that's why it's so important you keep watching what I do. And the fact that you just were on your phone, that was really disrespectful. Oscar's never gonna get better if you are not dedicated with him. Um, I apologize about the phone and we take it very seriously. Okay. Finally, with Eric's undivided attention, Victoria continues with the focus work. This time, trying to get Oscar even closer to the other dog while keeping him calm. And again, I want you to have experiences like this where he can just be calm in the presence of another dog. Good boy. Good. Good. And he looked back at you. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's when you have to come in with your vocal praise good right boy. there. Good boy. What a good dog you are. Nice. Good boy. I know Eric's completely capable of working with Oscar. I just, he needs to dedicate himself to him for a while. I definitely think that working with Oscar around other dogs in the neighborhood has helped him to calm down and be less reactive around other dogs. Atta boy, Oscar, good boy.